outside the Russian embassy in the Ukrainian capital, Kiev, crosses with the names of victims of war to humanize the civilian toll in the conflict to the east of the country. A silent protest against Moscow's involvement as separatists fight government forces for independence and closer ties to neighboring Russia. Some 30 people were killed and more than 100 wounded on January 24th when residential areas in the government-controlled port city of Mariupol were shelled from the rebel side. Kiev and Western nations accuse Moscow of supporting the rebels, a charge Russia denies. In the flow of information from news channels, people who have names and family names are turned into statistics and numbers. Here on these 30 crosses are names and family names of the people who died at the hands of Russian aggressors, Russian occupiers. In Kiev's central square, dozens gather for a different kind of protest. They're generally angry with the Ukrainian government. Talks on a ceasefire collapsed Saturday after both sides accused the other of sabotaging negotiations. <laughs> The state is possessed by oligarchs now. In fact, they are imposing their will on people. And all of it is happening because those in power are uncontrollable, from the very top to the very bottom. The civilian and military death toll in the Ukrainian crisis has mounted in the last two weeks after rebels launched a new offensive. Some 5,000 people have been killed, and there's just no tangible sign that the diplomatic stalemate will change soon.